Hey guys, Nova here, and this is a new Minecraft invention. It is wireless redstone that works outside of the loaded chunks. Basically, as you can see, all you can see is redstone down there, just a single redstone wire. If I show you, there's nothing under here. That, see, nothing. And if you place a string, see, you start getting that pulse. And then if you want to stop the pulse, you just have to go back to the, uh, where's the clock? If you want to stop the clock, you just have to go back to the actual machine or go with inside the loaded chunks and do some stuff. Yeah, just go back inside the loaded chunks and look at this piece of wire and it stops the entire pulse. It's basically a manual reset, if you will. And then once you're inside the loaded chunks, uh, the string looks uh, reacts more like a button. So by looking at the string, it starts creating a pulse, but if you look away from the string, it stops the pulse. Now, I'll show you why this works. Basically, basically, if you remove that thing, you see it starts pulsing. Yeah? But, the thing with this is it's like the actual other wireless redstone uh, ways, as the minecart is constantly coming on and off of that tripwire. So it's going up and down like a piston, basically. Same principle, almost. And the, uh, then, just to stabilize it, you have to place another piece of trip wire above it. Yeah. That's how that works. But... Yeah, all, all, left, all that is left is just to show you how to build it. So, you just want to grab two blocks of your choice, place them with a three gap in between, get two tripwire hooks, place one, place one there, uh, not a redstone torch, put string, get your uh, rail, make it straight. I use powered rails because cars don't move as fast over them. Push it a bit far. You have to get it just so it's just hovering. Probably should have destroyed that thing first. My bad. Yeah, sorry, they interfere with each other. I'm still trying to find a way of making them so you can put them on different bands as like frequency bands, so you can control them different ways. But that's for another video, as still trying to figure that out. Getting there though. Yep, so now you've got that. If you if you place a redstone on the top of there, you can see it's pulsing. And now just to stabilize the pulsing, just place another piece of wire uh, trip of string there. Look at that piece of string. And there you go. Stabilized. And now place a piece of string down. And it starts doing that. But as you can see that yeah, I'll show you here. You can't put this as a normal output with a redstone torch. So you see, red, it doesn't affect the redstone torch, it's not fast enough. So you have to use a piston, as shown over here. Uh, and then, yeah, so the piston will normally be extended, it will. And then when you get the pulse, it retracts and goes over here, goes over the redstone torch which releases the pulse. Uh, yeah. So basically that's how that works and I'll be sure to be improving this and I just want to say thanks to Wubby from JL2579 server who's give, 
uh, for giving me some help with um, how it works going out of registered blocks, uh, registered chunks. Um, yeah. And thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, hit that like button below. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.